Progressivism is a political and social term that refers to the ideologies and movements favoring or advocating progress, changes, improvement, or reform, as opposed to wishing to maintain things as they are. Progressivism took place in the late 1800s to early 1900s, ending after World War I. This ununified movement held four basic beliefs. The government should be accountable to its citizens. Government should limit power of the wealthy. The government should have one power to improve lives and to make the government more efficient and less corrupt. The main progressive goal was to purify politics by excluding illiterates and reducing immigration through literacy tests. The Origins of Progressivism Progressives were people who wanted to change and improve America. They strived to move forward and make it a better place. Poor families resisted progressives because they were against the overall idea of eliminating child labor. Families in poverty needed their children to work. The Progressive Party emerged from other movements like the populists. While the populist party focused on reforming the economy and industry, the progressives focused on moral reforms so they could acquire social control. While the populists attracted more farmers and focused mainly on the economic issues, progressives were more successful because they focused on many social and moral reforms attracting more people. The main difference between the parties was progressives were more ur urban based while the populists were in the South and Midwest, which is why progressives were more successful. Legislation. Government responsibility for the people was strongly supported by progressivism. They wanted social welfare programs such as Social Security, Unemployment Insurance, and Health Care. The federal legislators added three constitutional amendments, the 16th, the 17th, and the 18th. The 16th Amendment concerned federal income tax. The 17th Amendment was a direct election of senators. The 18th Amendment was the prohibition of alcohol. State reforms and legislation consisted of more power to voters. In Wisconsin, Robert La Follette, a U.S. politician and an active progressive, created the Wisconsin Idea, which was a public academic alliance to improve the government. The local government made four main contributions in regards to legislation. They attacked the bosses, the cities took over utilities, they appointed new administrators, and provided welfare services. The Sherman Antitrust Act and the Interstate Commerce Act were some of the party's major successes. Overall, government reforms within legislation was influenced partially by progressivism. People of Progressivism Many people were involved in the reforms and progressive party. Many of the people in this movement were part of the middle class that were concerned about the business elite and the radical political movements of farmers and laborers. Muckrackers such as Ida Tarbell and Lincoln Stevens were journalists who wrote about the wrongdoings in the country. Muckrackers believed in the concept of social gospel, which was an outrage towards injustices which could be fixed with a sense of humanitarianism and religion. The women's rights movement was a strong issue throughout America during the time. Carrie Chapman Catt, Elizabeth Candy Stanton, Lucretia Mott, and Susan B. Anthony were all activists in this movement. Florence Kelly played a major role in the leading of the National Consumers League. Henry George and Edward Bellamy were two popular early writers who wrote about the needs to reform. Presidents of Progressivism Theodore Roosevelt, Woodrow Wilson, and William Taft were the main presidents involved with progressivism. Theodore's square deal was his intervention between the United Mine Workers Union and management. He helped work out a square deal. Roosevelt also created a new political party and platform that is known as the Bull Moose Party. This party emerged from the progressive ideas. Roosevelt, along with his successor, Taft, favored antitrust activism, protection of public welfare, and a new labor department. In the election of 1908, Roosevelt threw his support towards William Taft. Taft won the nomination and appeared to share progressive ideas. However, many of Taft's actions were seen as possible political turmoil in the future. In the election of 1912, Taft and Roosevelt fought over the Republican nomination, but Roosevelt left the Republicans and formed the Bull Moose Party, a.k.a. 
the Progressive Party. Woodrow Wilson was a Democrat running in the election of 1912 and the winner of that election. His new freedom plan enforced antitrust laws without threatening competition. Wilson helped to get the income tax amendment passed. Check it, check it, I yo Tasso, give me a beat. Boom, 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 yeah. boom, 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 My name boom, is Theo, boom. and I'm like some teddy bears. I can serve the wildlife even if you don't care. Check out my stash, I'm a man with power. Started the Progressive Party, subject of the hour. Then for you, Tap, eight years in the white hits of preserving public land. I'm being bushes of progressives were hidden at the end of my years. My boy Woody's coming, so have no fear. Reducing tariff rates and attacking trust. Keep America out of war was a must. Fed reserve systems, I helped get it passed. Served two torrents, the time went fast. We're the presidents of progressive times, and we like, like to bust our kings are rap crimes. <laughs> Bull Moose Party The Bull Moose Party platform consisted of many progressive ideas such as tariff reduction, child labor ban, eight hour workday, federal workers' compensation and direct election of senators. Furious, Roosevelt and his supporters formed their own political party, aptly named the Progressive Party. After, Roosevelt boasted, Strong as a bull moose and ready for the fight. The Reform Movements. Women's Right Movement. The American Women's Suffrage Association worked on women's right to vote at a state level. Throughout progressivism, women began to gain more rights. The Temperance Movement. This movement led to the 18th Amendment and was started by a religious group. Carrie A. Nation, the WCTU, American Temperance Society, and Lyman Beecher were only a few leaders and organizations among many that supported this movement. The start of the Temperance Movement was because alcohol was said to be corrupting society. The Conservation Movement. This movement was under Roosevelt's presidency and its purpose was to protect natural resources, plants, and animals. The teddy bear was named after Roosevelt for this reason. The labor movement. Workers were encouraged to join because the factories had bad conditions, long hours, and low wages. Socialist organizations. Popularity of socialism was rising. It was an economic and political philosophy favoring public government control over property income. They believed in distribution of wealth. National Consumers League. This group consisted of women investigating conditions in which goods are made. They boycotted goods, which was the best way to hurt businessmen. The progressive movement played a huge role in the growing development of the United States. Although progressivism only lasted for about 30 years, it left its mark on America forever. In order to accomplish anything, work and time is required. Progressives were of the beginning to a change in many movements, but there was still work to be done. But, but all you can, can do is take one step at a time. There's no need to rush. It's like learning to.